Let's uh, move on to Matt. Matt Garrison, your organization, R2, purchased the Milwaukee Post Office Complex for $13.1 million. Um, and as the uh, media sponsor of this organization uh, put it on the cover of their magazine, they have a large font, ugly duckling. Uh, in a smaller font, they have something about a swan as well. Um, uh, but um, in the article, uh, uh, Andrew Island uh, discusses um, the, the possibility of redeveloping that, that property. And, and, and it's my sense from discussions with uh, folks out in the audience that the idea would be if the post office left, or presuming they leave at some point, that it would be more of a teardown. What I think I read in the article is you, th you see redevelopment opportunity with the building as is. Can you discuss that? Yeah, we've always looked at it and, uh, and approached it that way. First of all, I think you guys, you, Biz Times called the baby ugly on the, on the cover there, but uh, it hurt my feelings a little bit, but uh, I, I got over it. But we think it's actually a, a really cool building. Um, it's brutalist architecture, which is not for everyone. Um, it's just, you know, horizontal kind of in nature, uh, you know, when most buildings are vertical on this massive nine acre site along the river. And we've seen successful adaptive reuse of those type of buildings in Chicago, um, most notably with the Merchandise Mart, which is a little bit of a different animal, but the floor plates are almost the same size, um, as well as 600 West Chicago, which is known now as the Groupon building, um, which is the former Montgomery Ward catalog plant. So you're buying a building for 10 bucks a foot. Um, that would cost $200 million to replicate. Uh, not that you're going to replicate it today, but we feel that's a competitive advantage. So it's a competitive advantage from an economic standpoint, um, and we think it's also a competitive advantage from building a, a really cool, organic uh, type of situation there along St. Paul. Could it be knocked down and could you build a bunch of six-story uh, stick-on-podium uh, multifamily buildings? I'm sure you could do that. That's not what we're gonna do with it. So what we wanna do, is activate the big box retail and retail presence along St. Paul. Um, we're going to give it a massive facelift, a massive facelift, but we're going to stay within the same footprint and take advantage of uh, of the existing conditions to deliver something really organic and cool um, that we think is good for Milwaukee and to uh, deliver better economics to our tenants. So retail along St. Paul, um, uh, probably the first and second floor. Third floor uh, has a ramp where semis park up there right now for the post office, and it's a good way for us to hide parking within the building and not have a, a, an unattractive parking structure, but satisfy the need for parking. And then fourth floor, you have a beautiful 100, 150,000 foot floor plate with 30 foot ceilings for creative office, and we're gonna go get a, a credit single creative office tenant for the fourth floor. And then you have 900,000 feet of FAR um, that you can use uh, on, the, on the open parts of the site. And, uh, and go vertical. So I'm gonna prove to you guys that it's not ugly. You did say the, the swan thing, which I appreciate. So we'll, we'll be out with some rendering soon. So uh, you mentioned the third floor parking based on how you dream about this with some maybe big box retail, as well as you mentioned the idea of a merchandise mart um, a concept. Is parking adequate? Uh, we believe it is, yeah. You've got a couple hundred thousand feet uh, of parking um, on the third floor. You have some other places you can park within the structure. It's a big, complicated structure. But uh, you know, we think we can get it a thousand parking spots, and you're not even going to see them. They're going to be within the building, which is really cool because uh, parking garages aren't attractive, and you've got this beautiful, natural setting along the confluence of the rivers there. And uh, that's the other thing I didn't mention. So you're separated by the railroad tracks. The building already mm -hmm. spans over those railroad tracks. We don't want to mess with that. Um, the rear of the property uh, it needs to be a river walk. Uh, Milwaukee's done an amazing job with the river walks. They've done a better job than Chicago, um, in my opinion. Um, and we're going to activate that and make that an entertainment um, district back there and do some really cool things to bring life to the river. Um, and the river is a, a huge part of the story with that site. Okay, great. Thanks, guys.